welcome back again to the channel today we are making a short booboo gown with inner pockets if you are interested make sure you watch the video to the end so you won't miss out of any important information so guys with that being said let's get started so these are the materials i need for the gown I have paper gum here, paper gum stay. This is the medium type, not the very thick type. And I have my plain materials, two, two different colors for the neckline and the sleeve. And for the fabric, I have two and a half yards here. Two and a half yards is okay, depending on the length you want for your own. So two and a half yards is what I'll be using today. So guys, I'm going to place my fabric on fold. Before we continue, please kindly give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it as well and watch thank you so much and if you are new you are highly welcome i'm chisom ene subscribe to join the family and turn on the notification bell for more videos thank you so much i folded the material into four i first folded into two and then i folded into four like this the first thing is to mark one inch here as my starting point line so guys on this line I'm going to add my shoulder measurement divide by 2 my shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 8 plus the sleeve length the sleeve length I'm working with is 11 inches so 8 plus 11 inches will give us 19 I'm going to place 19 inches here and mark So for folding this sleeve, I'm going to add only half inch. Then the neck width for this style is going to be 3 inches. Neck width, that's the wideness of the neckline, 3 inches. Then I mark. The next is to slope the shoulder. I'm going to mark 1 inch here to slope the shoulder. It's actually optional. If you don't want to slope the shoulder, it's fine. From this 1 inch shoulder slope, I'll connect to the neck width. So this is now my shoulder line slanted i'll be adding my sleeve opening here so for me my sleeve opening is going to be 12 inches 12 inches and i mark so you are going to add your sleeve opening depending on how wide you want the sleeve to be so i really want it big i'm going to add 12 inches you can do 11 inches depending on what you want. So 12 inches here. I'll add half inch for allowance, making it 12.5. So I'm going to connect the two points. So this is my sleeve opening. The next thing I'm going to do is to come in by one inch here at this point. And I'll connect it back to this place so that it will give the sleeve a nice shape after sewing. I'll be making use of this line, not this one. So this is what I have now. Having done that, at this point, I'm going to add my bust circumference measurement. So my bust measurement is 39. Divide by 4 is going to give us 9.75, which is here. I'm going to add extra 3.5 inches, including the sewing allowance. So I'll be using half inch for my sewing allowance, while these 3 inches will be for my ease allowance. You know it's a booboo gown. So I mark 3.5 inches here, and I'll connect from that point to here. Okay, so the next step is to add my waist measurement from my shoulder to waist is 18 inches, which is here. My waist measurement is 36, divided by 4 is 9 inches, then I mark, plus 3.5 inches allowance. 
and from shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches which is here so this is my hip line and my hip circumference is 43 divided by 4 is 10.75 plus extra 3.5 inches which is here so I'll connect the three points like this and like this I'm going to take the measurement I have here to the length of the gown so what I have here is 14.5 so I'll come to the length and place it there 14.5 now we are going to add the neckline the neckline for the back side is half inch half inch so I'm going to connect like so for the front side the neck depth is going to be 18 inches 18 inches that's my waist line so having marked the 18 inches for my neck depth at that point i'm going to measure 1.5 inches and mark 1.5 inches from this 1.5 inches i'll connect to the neck width here i'll connect to here can you see so this is my neck line for the front side and this is the neck line for the back side the next thing I'm going to do is to add my joining allowance. I'll add half inch here for shoulder joining allowance. I'm going to add it following the slanted line. So I'm going to cut it now. And then after cutting, I'll separate it, remove the back and cut the front neckline so guys take note of this part we don't cut this four corner shape so i'm going to curve this part this part so i'm going to cut following this curve and not this one take note of this please I'll have something like this so the next thing I'll be doing is to go and join the two shoulders so this is the back side I will now go back to the machine to join to join the two shoulders together we are sewing with half inch I'm going to join here and also join here so guys after joining the two shoulders this is what I have. So the next step is to cut out the collar, the length of the collar. So for that, I'm going to hold these two. This is the neck depth for the front. I hope you know. I'm just going to hold it like this. And I'll measure, I'll hold the, I'm going to hold the neckline like this and take the length. So from this point, from here, I'm going to measure up to the back neckline and that will be the length of the collar so what i have here is 22.5 i'll add extra four inches to that making it 26.5 i'll i'll just cut 27 inches so guys i'll be cutting out 27 inches on each of these plain materials in case you are wondering what the, the type of material i have here this is door face satin. You can use anything. You can use anything but crepe. Whatever you have, you can make use of it. So, I'm going to measure 27 inches. Like I said, 27 inches on this side. This is 27 inches. And the wideness is going to be 5 inches. The wideness of the collar is 5 inches.
So this is 27 inches and the wideness is 5. I'll just place it on this other material and cut exactly what I have. So after cutting, the next step is to attach the fusible interfacing I have here on the two of them. So guys, after attaching the interfacing, the next thing I'll be doing is to join the two of them together. I'm going to stitch here to join the two of them together. I'll be sewing with half an inch. So guys, I've joined the two of them together and we have a very long something here. So, assuming you want to make use of one color for this, just know that this will be the length, the length of the color you are going to cut out. Do you understand? So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold I'm going to fold it into two, two equal parts and iron it to get the center. So guys, this is what we have now. I'll open it up again. I'm going to open it up and... I'll place it the way it was before. I just iron to get the center, the center line. So the joining part here is now the center back, the center back of the collar. So I'll be placing the neckline from this center part here, from this center towards this direction. This is the two shoulders. So I'm going to measure the back neckline first. I'll match it shoulder to shoulder like this. And from there, I'll measure the back neckline. So, I have 3.5 as the back neckline. So guys, from this center here, I'm going to measure that neckline, the 3.5 inches neckline, and mark there. So this is the back neckline. So, from this back neckline, I'm going to add my neck depth, the front neck depth. So you are going to determine how low you want the neck depth to be, the front neck depth. For me, I'm going to make use of 10 inches as my front neck depth. So from this line, I'll measure 10 inches and that will be my neck depth for the front side. So 10 inches. So altogether, the neckline is going to be 13.5. Feel free to do what you want. If you want, you can increase it or reduce it. So the choice is yours. What I'll do next is to go over to the machine and following this center line, this center I have here, I'm going to go and stitch from this point. I'll stitch from this point all the way down so guys after stitching this is what i have can you see this is what i have so the next thing i'll do is to fold it like this so this is what i have i'll go back to the machine and stitch to close this side so that it will it will be easy for us to fix on the neckline. So guys, this is what we have. I decided to weave it instead of stitching it all around. The next step is to fix it on the gown. So guys, before we fix the collar, we are going to come here and open up this side by half an inch. So I'm going to measure half inch here and mark. half inch and mark and towards this 
part i'm going to measure half inch as well and mark so i'm going to cut from here to here so that it will be easy for us to fix the color you get to understand the reason why i'm doing this so what i'll do now is to cut from here to here that is by half an inch So this is what I have now. I measure here to get 2 inches after cutting through this corner. So in that case, after I sew, after sewing, this half inch that I just measured now will be a side. For us to get our complete 4 inches for the collar, which is 4 inches wide. I hope you understand. So the next step is to go over to the machine to fix the collar. Or better still, let me pin it down for us to understand better. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not done that already. So, remember this line indicates the center back of the collar. So what I'll do now is to fold this two and notch that the center. I'll notch the center of the back neckline to match it with the center back of the collar. So I'm going to place it like this. I'll place it like this and I'll pin it all round. going to stop here I'm going to pin this other side I'm going to stitch from this open side from here all round and I'll stop here as well so guys after stitching this is what I have this is the wrong side of the fabric and then this is the front side of the fabric so guys the reason why I cut through this corner is because of this so that it will be easy for us to fix the collar and then tidy up this part do you understand so as you can see this is how this place is looking like now so what i'll do now is to tuck this place inward i'll tuck it inward can you see so i'll open this side up and this is what i have so what i'll go over to the machine to do now is to place the this side on the machine and i'll stitch here together do get so let me just pin it down let me just pin it down it's safe to pin down to avoid unnecessary mistakes so after pinning it down i'll go over to the machine and i'm going to place it like this I'll place it like this and then stitch here down do you understand so I'll go over to the machine to sew this side and I'll be right back so guys after stitching this is what I have so if you like you trim this side but I'm going to leave it like that so we are going to turn to the right side and this is what we have so I'll quickly iron it down so that it will lap very well. So guys, I have these two pieces for the sleeve, to turn the sleeve. And yeah, the side that has blue color, I'll use blue to turn the sleeve for that side. 
so this one is going to the other sleeve for the wideness of this i have three inches three inches for the wideness and then the length is the length of the sleeve here now this is the right side of the door face the right side to the wrong side of the fabric so i'll place it like this and i'll go over to the machine and stitch by half an inch so i'll do that on the other sleeve as well and after that i'll top stitch and i'll be right back so guys i'm done attaching the band this is the right side so i'm going to turn it like this over to the right side of the material i'm going to iron it flat so i'll go over to the machine fold in half an inch and then stitch on top do you understand so let me do that and i'll be right back guys after sewing the sleeve the next step is to shape this side the two sides before i close the two sides i'm going to mark out the pocket opening so from the shoulder i will measure 18 inches and mark this is 18 inches so i'm going to sew with half an inch and stop here at this 18 inches and i'm going to measure six inches and I'll continue the stitching from there, all through down. I'll be sewing with half inch allowance. So I'll go over to the machine and do that. I'll leave the pocket opening and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm done shaping the gown and we have the pocket opening here. And the other side. This is what the pieces from the cutting of the gown. So I have to join it to get the pocket. So guys, to cut the pocket, I'm going to measure one inch here, one inch, and from there I'll mark my six inches, six inches, and then from there I'll place my hand like this and take the shape of the hand. So this is the pocket now i'll cut so guys i have my two pockets here i'm going to measure half inch here like this and i'll start the sewing from there all through so we are sewing from this place from this half inch i'll sew it all around and stop here the next step is for us to fix or attach the pocket this is the pocket opening and this is also the pocket so you see this allowance I'm going to merge it with this sewing allowance on the fabric so I'm going to just open it up like this and place it like this do you understand so I'm going to from here I'm going to merge this side of the sewing allowance to this side you get and I'll pin it down so can you see what I have so I'll go over to the machine and stitch this side then coming to this other side this allowance here I'm going to merge it with this allowance here so I'll place it like this and pin So I'll stitch this side and stitch this side as well and the pocket will look like this do you get so I'll go and sew the two pockets and I'll be right back so guys after attaching the pocket this is what I have so I'm going to turn to the right side so guys after turning to the right side this is what I have this is the color looking so beautiful can you see and yeah this is the pocket so guys if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and try it out let me know your results in the comment section
I'm going to hem the damn part and that will be the end of this tutorial. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, I will see you again. For now, it is bye-bye.